We've been working on the Road to Zero. A lot of our time, we are incredibly focused on what comes next. You don't want to give up, you know, all the comfort that you know with the low yeah. or telehandler in terms of this is how it works, this is what I got used to, this is what I could all do and move around. To now say I can only do half of the stuff, that would be great. But ideally you can do all of the stuff. So how can you achieve it to do all of the stuff, but do it responsibly and so on. And Some of our products do 3000 hours a year. So those machines are on full power for 10, 12, yeah. some of them 20 hours a day. And the small machines tend to be urban maintenance machines. So they'll work in cities where there's an infrastructure already established. Quite often they're repairing uh, water leaks or a gas pipe fix or laying a gas pipe. Whereas the large equipment tends to be creating new motorways or new infrastructure, new railways. So when they turn up on site, there's just no power. Yeah. So they challenged us to look at different fuel types. And really, we, we came to a conclusion where we started to look at the use of hydrogen. Yeah, so we, we, well, we, never, we never thought of that when we started the process. We thought it would be batteries or fuel cells. But our chairman, Lord Bamford, um, he challenged us to look at what he's always said is he's, he's worked in our industry for, for many years. Customers always say to us, you can do any machine you want, but don't make it too complicated or too expensive for the market it serves. And the problem, batteries are about a 70 to 100% premium, a battery product. And the fuel cell product is probably more like 200 to 300% more, two or mm -hmm. three times more. So he said, we, we've got to come up with a solution that's more affordable. I think it's a fascinating process as you go back and you start from not zero, but you have already where you want to go. So you have a clear goal, but then say, look, yeah. you know, how can we achieve, start from scratch? What are the options? And then yeah. how can we make it work and be open to everything that comes with it? Yeah. yeah. We start to look at hydrogen combustion because the engine is fantastic at being able to respond uh, to the torque that we needed. I guess that is the target because you don't want yeah. any sort of compromises. Also in terms of torque and how much you can lift, lifting power and so on, it's yeah, exa exactly the no same. compromise. Um, so now we've got our first product, um, but we've got these running around now with, with hydrogen combustion engines in. Obviously the great thing is hydrogen is a, is a, is a carbon free fuel. I mean the telehandler and that in particular, if you, all the indoor usage that does exist, which now is sort of limited because at some point it, you have all you know, the yeah. CO2. Um, gases, but I think there you don't have any problem, it's just water that comes out. So where does, the, I need to ask, where does the actual fuel tank then sit or live? This today is your your standard fuel tank. Yeah. And then what we've got, we've replaced that with, with cylinders yeah. that, uh, that can fit and work just under the cab really neatly. So the great thing is you fuel in pretty much exactly the same, same. place. I'm a huge fan of the old, you know, engines because of their sound and so on. But, you know, if you can have invent a stronger, faster, lighter, better engine in the future that maybe has a different sound, maybe I will miss it because I know how the old engine used to sound, for yeah. example, but somebody who is growing up will only see that, look, power output is much better, weight, it's, more, it's much better, it's more efficient, it's a no-brainer. I, I think the important thing is that we're not, you know, committed to only one strategy. I think it's... Yeah. We have to be open for everything, like you have been, and you said, okay, this is on the list, this is on the list. I don't know, I, I, just, I just see it as a very exciting thing to happen with plenty of opportunities for the future. Yeah. 